and I'm currently making my way to a little village called Cramond. It's just on the edge of Edinburgh. Now, Cramond is a very old village and it has connections to the Romans and ancient Roman artifacts have been found in the little river here, which is now sitting in a museum in Edinburgh. So it has an interesting history. I want to have a quick talk about the upcoming episode, the doldrums, which is coming up next week. So the bulk of the upcoming episodes, including the doldrums, was actually shot in South Africa in a film studio just outside Cape Town. And this film studio is massive. I'm in fact going there in January to see where this was all shot. And I'll put a link below so that you can actually go to the website of these film studios. When I say they are big, I mean they are really huge. They've got at least five large hangars that they use for sound studios. And they've got several old battleships and an artificial lagoon there. And of course, when they were making Outlander, they had to change a few of the ships that are sitting there to fit in with more of the period. Now it's rumored that Claire actually injured herself on set while they were filming. Now they won't say how it happened or which scene, but I'm wondering, did this perhaps happen during the lovemaking scene that's coming up in Total Soup? They laugh about it, but it'll be interesting to find out how it happened. Now I believe this particular episode was written by Shannon Goss and directed by David Moore. So it seems that every other episode is written and directed by different people. So it will be interesting to see if this shows in the actual episode itself. So of course, initially, Claire and Jamie find themselves back at Lallybroch. It is not long before they discover that they are unwelcome guests. Sir Percival is hunting Jamie and Larry and her brothers come calling for some money. So Claire and Jamie decide that they need to scarp her and to do so fast. The one thing I can never get my tongue around is the name of Larry. Now, when you look at the spelling of it, it's impossible to pronounce it from the mere spelling. I find it very hard to pronounce many of these Scottish words, which ultimately derive from Gaelic. So the story goes that Jamie and young Ian go and find some of the treasure that was buried to be able to pay off Larry. And it's while they make their way back with his treasure that young Ian is kidnapped. Now Jamie thinks that Ian has been held against his will on the Bruja. So it's while in Paris that Jamie is put in charge of the Artemis and they decide to set after the Bruja to try and get young Ian back. So it's while Jamie is in Paris that he makes a connection between the coins that they've got and the Duke of Sandringham. This is an interesting plot point and I don't know if this will come up in this actual series. Just while I've been walking here, I've just discovered that I've actually walked over the old ruins of a Roman fort. Now this entire area was made up of a huge Roman fort. It's called the Severin Fort and there's only small remnants of this left now. It's interesting that the Romans actually came up as far as Edinburgh.
So Jamie makes his way back to Scotland on the Artemis. Now most of these crew are made up of smugglers. They suspect that they've actually got a traitor on board. On this voyage, Jamie becomes terribly seasick. And it's while Claire was speaking to the cook that the cook reveals that in fact, somebody's been trying to kill Jamie. And there's been quite a few incidents. Now Jamie's seasickness just gets worse. And Mr. Willoughby has to try acupuncture to make Jamie better again. Now Jamie's feeling the effects of celibacy. Now, if I was him, I wouldn't be too worried because in an upcoming episode, that's going to be taken care of. Now, just as I was walking back to the car, I was walking along the footpath and I came across this little sign in the ground here. Apparently, this exact location is one of Scotland's oldest Mesolithic settlements. It's amazing what you find when you're walking through the forest here in Scotland. 